So I did try something new today. Being a barber in Memphis, it can be tough sometimes because there's literally nowhere to buy supplies. And we have Sally's and stuff like that, little beauty supply stores. So for little things, maybe you can go and get lucky and catch some of something there. But as far as barbering tools, to order everything. So if you need something on the spot, it's, uh, it's tough. Today I tried something different. I found one of the suppliers that drives around in a truck and you know, goes to barber shops and supplies them. So I never, never used one of these guys, but I found one today that actually had something that I really needed. And that's the 245 Beam Team XL cordless compressor and airbrush. I've been needing a new one. I've been using a pretty uh, generic one off of Amazon and it worked well for a while and it does work well when it's clean, but it just takes me a lot of time and I notice it, you know, spraying too much on my clients and stuff sometimes and it's just a lot for me to deal with. So I've been wanting one of these for a minute. I wanted to do an unboxing of the Beam Team. So let's get into it. My guy got it for me for 165 flat. Usually when I see it online, it's about around 180, at least 190, 200, around that. So I was happy to find it at this price. Beam Team Cordless XL comes with cleaning utensils, an extra needle, different brushes to get inside of the, the airbrush. Looks like you have extra tips to the brush. Your airbrush in here, you got the actual compressor itself. Charging cable, looks like that's about it. Uh, let's put it together and, and see what it looks like. So just my initial thoughts, first holding it, a little, it's lighter than I thought it would be. There's only air and a little bit of technology in here, so I mean, it makes sense why it would be light. I was kind of worried about holding it at the gun. This compressor being bigger would weigh it down, but it really doesn't at all. It feels about the same as my other one. It feels higher quality than the one that I use. The one I was using before, I had to grip it like this at the top, like this. And this one, you grip it like an actual pistola. Honestly, it feels about <laughs> maybe a little heavier, but it's higher quality. Turn on the compressor. It's already charged. I can feel more power out of this than this. It looks like, and this is just a raw reaction. Um, this is the first time I've looked at this, the contents in this box. I don't know if, if I lost it already or if mine is different, but it looks like there's not a cap for the airbrush, which that I definitely am not a fan of. I don't know if this will fit on there. I don't think it's going to, but uh, that's something that that I don't like. I was in between getting this one or the one from the Barber Plug, the uh, the thicker, it's it's short, thick, and it's not an airbrush like this. It's like, a, it's, it's its own type of gun. But the reason I really, really wanted to get the 245 one is that I'd be able to empty it in this. That one, the nozzle is so thick, I don't think it, I would be able to empty it out in this container. I'm happy to be able to get it the day that I needed it. So I'm gonna use it on a few cuts and we'll see how it works. And then I'll give you my thoughts after using it for a full day. So I'll do that later today and I'll get back to you. The wireless charger for this is a big plus. I'm gonna enjoy having that to where you just set it down. I have this little pad right here. I don't have a power mat by 245. So I'm just gonna use this charging pad and it works seamlessly. Thank you. 
So first impression after using this, first of all, <laughs> the little tip that comes on there, make sure you take that off because I went to spray the client and it got backed up and started coming out of the cartridge. So take that off, don't do what I did. Once I got that off, man, uh, it sprays very smoothly. I really like using the trigger instead of this. Much more of an ergonomic movement, squeezing it like a gun. I could see where some people might not like how big it is. It didn't really matter to me. I love the way that it sprays. And a lot of that is due to the compressor being so powerful. That helps give it a better spray. It's not necessarily the gun. It's more the compressor uh, pushing that air through. And I can tell the difference. So I can stand from much further back. And then if, if I want the color to be more prominent, then I can get up a little bit closer. I wish that it had a cap right here. I haven't watched many reviews on this on YouTube, so I don't know if that's a thing. I don't know if I got a messed up one or, or if maybe they started doing them in later editions or something. I don't know. But mine doesn't have a cap, so that, I don't like that because one thing I did notice on the previous one I was using is that this is bigger and it holds more. So the 245 one is smaller and it doesn't have a cap. Like that is one thing that I wish I could change. I would want the bowl that holds the enhancement to be a little bit bigger and I would want it to have a cap. Sometimes I forget to push the button. This one is always on. And it's kind of a good thing and a bad thing. The good thing is that I don't have to turn it on. So as soon as I hit it, it's spraying every time. Every time I do it, it's spraying. I don't have to do no switch, nothing. Pick it up, boom. Put it down, pick it up again, boom. This one, if I just pick it up, start using it, it doesn't do anything. You have to hit this on button, and then it starts going. Which, it's not the biggest deal in the world. I mean, I'll probably get used to it. And so, I mean, the good thing about it is that it's saving battery. So if it's not on and you're not pushing the trigger, it's not using any of the battery that, okay, okay, I'm here, I'm here. This is future me, and I wanna cut old me off because he was rambling. And that's not really how I wanted to do this video. I wanted to, I did want to give my initial thoughts and opinions after using it for a day, but I didn't want the whole video to be me just after one day of using it because it can be a little misleading when people do that because of course it's going to perform really well the first day of using it. It's going to seem perfect and everything's going to seem great. And I did want to give my first initial opinions, but I actually am coming to you now after using it for almost a month and really, really testing it, seeing what it can do, what it struggles with, and like really putting it to the test. Using it with pretty much all my clients, even the ones I wouldn't normally use enhancements with, I wanted to see, you know, if I could make it spray well enough to make it look supernatural or whatever the case may be. Really, really putting it to the test. So this is me after a month of using it. That's why I wanted to hijack this video. So after a month of really using it, um, I probably had to take it apart and deep clean the airbrush twice, I would say. But most of the time, it does spray. Every single time that I pick it up and, and use it, it, it comes out and sprays well. But there's sometimes, like look, how I do it now. I turned it on, I'm gonna spray it. Nothing comes out of it, you don't see any. So that's how I start to know, okay, it's about time to clean it because I'm about to have to clean it again. If, you're, if you have a client in your chair and uh, it's not spraying, I just, I'll take the cap off that's on this, I already took it off, but, and then loosen this little part, pull the needle a little bit, like kind of adjust it. And you can see I pushed it forward and you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it's spraying now, just adjusting it a little bit. And that can be a little short term fix, say it's not spraying and you need to use it, pull the needle back a little bit and that'll give you at least through the cut and that can be a short term fix, but that's a sign that you know you need to take it apart and clean it for real. I've had to do that probably twice in a month and that's a little bit less than my old one. I was expecting it to be maybe once a month, so be mindful that yeah, you're still gonna have to clean these pretty often for to get consistency spraying every time. The wireless charging, I haven't had any issues. It's never died on me. It's been fully charged every time I picked it up. So that is actually really, really good. I like the way that it does that. That's been absolutely flawless. So that's a great thing about this. How I was bitching about it not having a cap and the, the capsule being too small. That I kind of stand by a little bit. Luckily I'm mindful of it. So I'm watching myself. I'm not moving too much to where it'll spill or something. I'm just kind of mindful that it's smaller and it doesn't have a cap. I still don't love that though, because the other one, you know, you, you did have to take the effort to put the cap on. It wasn't a big deal to me. I'd rather be able to move this freely without looking because I know it has a cap on it rather than not having to put the cap on, pouring it in there. But every, every move you make, you have to be a little bit careful. You have to make sure that it's, you know, steady and level so it's not spilling. 
because this stuff will stain the floor, stain the wall, stain your clothes, stain whatever it may be. I still don't love that about this. A good way to minimize how often you have to deep clean it is by pouring the alcohol in here after every time you use it, spraying it through, emptying it out. So keep in mind that I've probably had to deep clean it twice and I have been doing that after every cut. So it's not like I'm just letting the enhancement sit in there. I take pretty good care of this stuff. So I want to grade it in a couple different areas. I've broken it down into four sections. We're going to have quality, we're going to have consistency, we're going to have the ergonomics, and we're going to have the level of maintenance that you have to keep up with. And I'm just going to grade it on like a letter scale. A being the best, F being, you know, the worst. Going to kind of give you an overall picture of how good I think it is. Uh, when it comes to quality, I'm talking about the materials. Does it feel cheap? Does it feel good quality? Can you tell that they really took their time making this? And I definitely would give it an A plus when it comes to that. It feels super high quality, it feels great. So I would give it an A plus when it comes to that. And when I talk about consistency, I'm talking about the way that it sprays out. Like the liquid when it comes out onto the skin, can you expect it to be the same every time you use it? And that, I'm gonna give it a B plus because most of the time it does. And I love the way it sprays. I, I would give it a B plus, but I do notice it. Sometimes, you know, like I said, sometimes you have to get closer. Sometimes, you know, to get the normal look that you would normally get back here, you have to get up here. I think when it comes to airbrushes, I don't think there is a perfect one. So it's gonna have to take, you know, some work and you have to clean it out when you notice these things. And I think that's all that's a result of. I don't think it's a result of the, you know, the compressor or the airbrush. I think that it's mainly just, that's giving you a sign, yo, you need to clean these things. I would give it a B plus. It works really well most of the time. Every time that it's spraying good, it's super, super good. So B plus on that. And when it comes to ergonomics, I'm kind of half and half. I love the way it feels while you're using it. When you're spraying it, holding it this way just, changes it for me. Like I said, this tank right here really doesn't weigh it down or anything. Like I never notice it when I'm using it. Like it, it looks big and it looks super girthy. It looks girthy, but I don't notice it all when using it. Super light. Ergonomically using it as a tool, I would have given it an A plus. But the other half of this is it being on the station. And I'm super picky about the way the station looks and the stuff on it. Um, if it were up to me, I would want to tuck the airbrush in the drawer, put it on the side or something, which a lot of people probably do, but the way I have it, I have it on the charger on top of the station and I really don't love the way it looks. I notice when I'm in the middle of a haircut, I'm throwing thing, I'm like moving around fast, sometimes I'll bump the station, whatever, and this thing starts wobbling. This thing is like a tower getting blown over, so it can cause chaos. I'm going to lower the score because of that. I'm sure there's a lot of ways around it. I'm sure a lot of people stationed it would be better for whatever, but for my station, I'm gonna lower it because it's not super ergonomic when it comes to laying, sitting on the station. So I'm gonna give the overall grade of this a B plus as well. The last one, the level of maintenance. This isn't a fault of Tune 45 or you know any of these companies that make these compressors and airbrush combinations because this is a hard product to use on a daily basis where you, you know, think about it. You're doing 12 haircuts a day, 20 haircuts a day, whatever it may be. You're using this every one. That enhancement or paint or whatever you might be using it for is super thick and it just clogs these things up and it's just not easy to work with. So I don't think there's an A plus airbrush out there. I think it's just impossible, man. This is probably the least amount of maintenance I've had to do on an airbrush, but you gotta remember that I've only had this a month, so it's still relatively new and it might get worse over time. I imagine it probably will, but over a month I've had to deep clean it twice and the last one I was using, I probably had to deep clean it every single week at some point, maybe twice a week sometimes. I would give the level of maintenance required a C plus. The best that I've used, but still not great. It's not like, you know, you really don't have to pay attention to it, but I use this thing a lot. So um, maybe for some of you guys, you know, you might only have to deep clean it once a month, which that I feel like would be the optimal requirement. But overall, I'm gonna give that thing an A minus because I think that it's definitely the best one that I've used. I've used a few different Amazon type airbrushes and compressors and even back when I was doing art, I would use them, you know, here and there and you would always have issues with them. This one's been the best that I've used after a month of using it. It's definitely been the highest quality for sure. Not even close on that. It's also sprayed the most consistently out of the ones that I've used. But I'm not gonna give it an A plus because it's not perfect. I mean, you guys have watched this video, I've been bitching about a lot of things, but I don't think there is a perfect one out there. This is a super hard product to, to make perfect and I just don't think there is one out there. <clears throat> anyway, if you're new here, I go by the name of Vino. We do barber and fashion, lifestyle, a lot of different things. Thanks for checking me out. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I see you next time. Ciao ragazzi e ci vediamo la prossima volta. Ciao.